This is question number 24 on the November 2014 non-calculator paper. The first thing we spot with this is there's a star next to the question number, so there's marks for quality of written communication. It says A is a point with coordinates 1, 3. B is a point with coordinates 4, minus 1. A straight line L goes through both A and B. Is the line with equation 2y is equal to 3x minus 4 perpendicular to the line L? You must show how you got your answer. So you have to show how you got your answer. You have to show the method that you've actually used to show whether they're perpendicular or not. So there's a fact that you need to know, right? Um, the gradients of perpendicular lines times or multiply to give minus 1. They times together to give you minus 1. So in other words, we need to work out the, the gradient of both the lines that they've actually mentioned. So this line here is the line with equation 2y equals 3x minus 4. We need to work out its gradient. Now, if you remember, y is equal to mx plus c. m is the gradient. So I need to rearrange this. I'm going to divide everything by 2 to get rid of that 2, so I have y on its own. If I divide that by 2, I'll get 3 over 2x minus, and if I divide that by 2, I'll just get 2. So that means that this line here, its gradient is 3 over 2. Okay, so that's the first bit that I've worked out. I've worked out the gradient of this particular line. 2y is equal to 3x minus 4. Now I need to work out the gradient of the line joining those two points, the points A and B. So, gradient of a, B. I know A is 1, 3. I know B is 4, minus 1. So the gradient of a line through two points, there's a rule for that. The difference in the Y values, so the difference in the Ys, over the difference in the Xs. So if I look at these two coordinates, it's useful to label x's and y's, so x-coordinate, y-coordinate, x and y. I'm going to work out the difference in the x's, and you need to stay with order here. So I'm going to do the differences in the x's and the differences in the y's, and put them over each other. So let's first work out the difference in the y's. So I'm going to start from A going to B, so 3, take away, difference, that's what it means, minus 1. And then I'm going to do the differences in the x's. 1, take away 4. Now this is a bit of working that you have to show so that they actually see your workings. 3 minus minus 1, so in other words, 3 plus 1 is 4, over 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So that is the gradient of the line AB. And remember the fact that we said at the very beginning, the gradient of perpendicular lines times together to give you minus 1. So I've got the gradient of AB. I've got the gradient of the line. So let's just check. 3 over 2 times 4 over minus 3. 3 times 4 is 12. Over 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And that works out to give you 12 divided by 6 is 2, and it's going to be minus 2. And that's not minus 1. So what that means is that the lines are not perpendicular. So because the gradients do not multiply 
to give minus 1, they are not perpendicular. Okay, that is pretty straightforward, right? If you know a couple of key facts, you need to make sure you think about this question, right? Especially if you're aiming for top grade. This is a type of question that you should be able to do and be able to get most of the marks in it. Do take your time as you're going through it. Make sure you can do it. Make sure you do understand what you're doing.